um, I got I had to get married to an older guy who was twice my age and I got raped and I had a child and that was the only ticket way back into the UK so when I came back to the UK I tried to commit suicide a lot because I couldn't understand what life was bringing me and for a 15 16 year old child that is like really hard to bear and plus I was six, I was pregnant as well so I just couldn't understand life I heard you describe in there the effect it, it had on you personally what what was it like to live with this to live with honor based abuse and forced marriage is really difficult it really destroys your personality it it, it breaks down everything that you believe in or what you thought you believed in and that's all because of the conditioning that you get when you're younger and from society as well so I had to basically reinvent myself find out who I was and I didn't know that until I was 27 of what I like to do you know what my passions are and what I would love to achieve in my life and that is a very late age to actually find that out about yourself so you're now an ambassador for Carmen Navarro what would your message be? I mean, what could you say to anybody who might be in the position you were in? I would honestly say reach out for the phone, get, take the number down of Carmen Navarro's support uh, helpline and just talk to somebody because it is a criminal offence, it's child abuse. You have to reach out, you have to talk out because there are so many people that ha are not here today because of these honour crimes and you know I'm lucky I'm still alive I'm still breathing and I can actually speak out and say to people this is what happened to me and if you're in the same position please just get help just reach the phone line for Carmen Navarro.